Hi! Welcome to Useless COD Zombies Information. As always, if you enjoy this video, please do me a favor hit that like button. It helps get my videos out to more people, which helps me grow this community. So if you want another useless information video in the future, click that like button. And with that being said, let's jump in to the useless information. If a Margot teleports from one side of the Pack-a-Punch room to the other side on Shadows of Evil while you're wall running, his hitbox will collide with yours, causing you to fall and die. If you go in theater in Black Ops 2 and look at your character in third person holding the Ray Gun Mark 2, they'll hold it like it's a pistol, but in Black Ops 4, they hold it like it's an SMG. If you slow down the footage when you pull out the Tundra Gun on Tagged or Toten, you can see that it's literally just a reskin of the Thunder Gun, and the blue light on the Tundra Gun will appear a couple frames after you pull it out. Man, was this map rushed or what? In 5, if you break the bottom of the glass and repair one board, you can jump on the board. Now, don't get your hopes up, this is not a pile-up glitch, so don't expect to use this in your game. Just get better instead. When Firebase E first came out, you could do a strafe jump to bypass the spawn door. This bothered Treyarch so much that they ended up moving the little guardrail here to the other side to block you from doing this. But funnily enough, it is still possible. Although, it is a lot more difficult now than it was before. In Black Ops 2, if you dolphin dive onto someone who's crouched, it'll down both of you. When you pack all of your weapons in BO4, you'll see that your left hand is slightly smaller than your right one for whatever reason. In BO1 Darius, the trench gun is glitched. Every time someone shoots it in co-op, everyone in the game will hear it, no matter if you're right next to the person shooting it or if you're across the map from them. So if you want to be really annoying in your next public match of Darius, buy the trench gun and spam it the whole game. The people in the crowd in 9 don't have heads, they're just floating masks. If you use the elevator in the spawn room on Darius, and then go back to the spawn room and jump down the elevator shaft, you will hit a death barrier. As many people know, when unlocking Pack-a-Punch on Ascension, you have the option to shoot the rocket with an explosive weapon, and if you explode the rocket, you can hurry up and go to where the rocket was for free double points. Or did you know this feature is also on Transit? After you place a turbine at the end of Max's Easter Egg, the game will leave you a drop under the spire, which is helpful? I guess? On Moon, you can keep jumping on the launch pad to prevent it from launching you. If you turn on subtitles while in theater mode in BO4, you can fast forward the game, but the subtitles will still show in normal speed. This will lead to a lot of quotes on your screen at the same time. There are ladders you can climb on in Beast from Beyond, but I strongly advise against doing so, because climbing up ladders in this game is actually terrible. Furthermore, there's a rock climbing section in Raven the Redwoods that you can climb up as well. But fun fact about this one, the devs anticipated that people would try to AFK on this wall, so if you stay on this for long enough, the game will instantly down you. In Shadows of Evil, you can grapple in beast mode to jump the hole and pack a punch. Why is this useless, you ask? Well, because you can just jump over the gap in beast mode, and it actually takes less time to do so than it would to grapple. I really don't understand why these are here. In Blood of the Dead, there are some cut easter eggs that the devs left in the map. First off, there is a coin in the brew perk machine. We have no clue what this does because we're pretty sure this easter egg was taken out the game. And the same goes for the next easter egg I'm going to show you, which is a bone where you would shock the voltage meter in Mob of the Dead to get access to the showers. We know that these are easter eggs because the way BO4 works is easter eggs do not show up in custom mutations. And if you play Blood of the Dead in custom mutations, the coin won't be in the brew perk machine and the Bone won't be there either. In Mob of the Dead, the Warden won't lock Pack-a-Punch, but in Blood of the Dead, he does. When Derizon Jack first launched, there wasn't debris in the two locations where the Pack-a-Punch machine wasn't currently at. They had to add this after release because people kept finding glitches to do here, and I guess this was the easiest way to put an end to those glitches. In Outbreak and Cold War Zombies, there is an objective where you have to take out a high-value target. These high-value targets are just buffed-up versions of the Mangler, or the Panzer, or even the Mimic. But did you know that there's actually a logical reason in the Cold War story for why these guys are so much stronger than their normal counterparts. Our strike team has taken down a lot of different hostels, some bigger and badder than others. We learn the most from their engagements with apex-level threats, the Dark Ether's high-value targets, for lack of a better term. Strauss gave me a bit of grief when I suggested we call them HVTs. He still sees this enemy as a disorganized mob, but I see a hierarchy at work and the top dogs are calling the shots. There are three different types of spar toy on Ancient Evil. There's the normal spar toy, 
there's a spar toy with a shield, and then there's a spar toy with a helmet. When BO3 first launched, the game didn't show you your gobble gum pack when you opened the scoreboard. In World War II Zombies, there is a pretty funny glitch that happens when you're trying to finish a contract. When the game's showing you your progress towards finishing the contract, instead of displaying the challenge name, it'll instead show you the code name for it. Which, as you can see here, is zombies underscore menu underscore microtransaction underscore survivalist underscore storm. And the last step in 9's easter egg before the boss fight, the max ammos that spawn will never disappear. When you pack a punch and tag your totem, you can see the please wait sign isn't actually attached to pack a punch. Additionally, if you leave your weapon inside a pack a punch, when your weapon disappears, the flag will as well. Man, was this map rushed or what? Wait, I already used that joke. Speaking of rushed maps, in Alpha Omega, you can see the warning sign isn't attached to the generator. Now, this is pretty egregious because you can obviously tell that it's floating like three feet in front of the generator. It's insane. Carrier from Exo Zombies has the rarest enemy in COD Zombies history. This boss will only spawn if you let all three bomb defusals fail in the map in any given round. And on the very next round, the Deep Sea Diver Goliath will spawn. This is the same thing as the Goliath from Infection, the map before this. Except he can also teleport, disable your exosuit, along with a few more really OP attacks. But like I said, the only way you can spawn him in is by ignoring the bombs in the map. So if he spawns, it's kind of your fault. Well, I guess it's also the devs fault because it's not a smart idea to have enemies that can shoot you in zombies, but what do I know? In the image of Shadows of Evil in the map selection screen, you can see the master spawner is still visible. The master spawner is kind of self-explanatory. It's the spawner that spawns in every single zombie before they get teleported to the spawns near you. There's a sign pointing to the bar in transit that says moon. Of course, being a nod to the last map that just released before transit, moon. Furthermore, there's a sign of the diner that says North Highway Diner. If you look at the other side of the sign, the lit up letters say, Now Die. I love things like this in Zombies. This trick I'm about to show you isn't really useless information, but I feel like every single Zombies player should know this. On Derizon Drag, the interaction for Pack-a-Punch is extremely buggy if you just walk up to the machine normally. But if you interact with the side of the machine, it'll be a lot easier to Pack-a-Punch, both because the interaction's better and because if you're trying to Pack-a-Punch mid-round, you won't get caught inside Pack-a-Punch and die. In BO1 Moon, if you're playing co-op, the host will always be Richtofen and player 2 will always be Dempsey. This is so you can't do this easter egg on solo, because as we all know, Jimmy Zelensky hated solo players. But Treyarch righted this wrong in Zombies Chronicles, because in BO3 Moon, the host will always be Richtofen so they can have the real device so they can actually do the easter egg on solo. Yet another example of why Jason Blundell is the best Zombies director. When Raven the Redwoods first released, there was a glitch with a smiley wonder weapon to cheese high rounds extremely easily. This was very quickly fixed like two days after the map released, and ever since then, the smiley has sucked. In BO4, Treyarch released a system called the BOAS, or the Black Ops Authenticity Stamp. This system gave you four random words tied to any given zombies match, which if you would enter into Call of Duty's website, would display all of your stats from that game. This was a pretty nice system, and it was really helpful for world records, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, Call of Duty shut down the BOAS system on their website. With saying that though, the game will still give you a four word code to track your game, so I guess they just forgot to take it out the game. In my last video, I said there were four perks that you couldn't prone under to get free points. Well, turns out that I missed one. You can't prone in front of Mule Kick on Garad Krovy either. If Thor is coming through while you're going from Gen 1 to Gen 3, he can actually stomp on you and kill you. In Alpha Omega, you can use the Ragnaroks to get back in the spawn room. So you can set up, get the Hellion, get your Mark II, whatever you want, and use this as a really good camping spot. Plus, there'll be no Nova Bomber, so it's a win-win. There are 11 different shields in COD Zombies. Out of those 11 shields, some of them are reused on multiple maps. The Rocket Shield is on both Shadows of Evil and Horizon Drac. The Dragon Shield is on Garad Kirby and Revelations. Scarlet Shield in BO4 is on on Voyage of Despair and Dead of the Night, and the standard BO4 Ether Shield is on Alpha Omega, Classified, and Tagged or Toten. There's a Gobble Gum in BO3 called Always Done Swiftly, and what this Gobble Gum does is it allows you to walk faster while you're aiming and aim quicker as well. I don't know if this is intentional or not, I'm pretty sure it was, but if you abbreviate the Gobble Gum name Always Done Swiftly, you'll get ADS, which can also stand for Aim Down Sight, which is what this Gobble Gum helps you do. The Double Pack a Punch Candle 44 and IW Zombies give you no explosive damage. I should have put this in the last episode when it was Christmas time, but 
whatever. In the holiday season of 2011, Steve Blum, Nolan North, Tom Kane, and Fred Tattashore, or the voice actors for Primus, came together and made a Zombies Christmas album. Here's a little clip of one of the songs. Dempsey, I hate you. This was your stupid idea, so kick us off. I'll kick you off. Who wants drink? Russian has no honor. Shut up, ass maggots, it's fucking Christmas! Slushing through the blood of zombies that we've slayed. Rule the gods of ghoul. Ruffing all the whip. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Moaning pieces swing, shrinking from the light. What fun it is to rough and sing as, as we, we kill undead tonight. tonight. Oh. Now, no one knows for sure how this came to be, but it's widely speculated that the voice actors were told by Activision to not do this, yet they did it anyways. Which would explain why this was never officially released. But if you want to check out the whole album, I'll leave a link down below in the comments. It's a pretty good listen. Trust me, you won't regret it. On Voyage of Despair, there are some really cool Easter eggs and sight. So first off, if you get a sniper rifle and aim in this window in the aft deck, you'll find a QR code. If you scan this QR code, it'll give you the cipher that when decoded says, quote, there is a rage within you the others do not know. It may be your undoing. This is referring to Bruno, who was killed and then revived by Alistair Rose with the Scepter of Ra. The Scepter was something the High Priest was using to recruit people into his cult, so Alistair unknowingly put Bruno under the Order's control. The next Easter egg I'll show you is pretty unique. On January 15th, 2019, or 115 day, then Zombies director Jason Blundell did a Q&A on Twitter. Someone asked him in this Q&A what his favorite unsolved cipher was, and as always, he was very cryptic with his answer. From Rick killer TSM. Uh, it says, hi there. On one hand, I want to ask a question about ciphers. On the other hand, I don't want nor expect any hints. Good. I like to uh, fulfill your expectations. Uh, so my question is, what is your favorite unsolved zombie cipher? Which game map is it from? A couple of my favorites are actually in Voyage of Despair. There's actually, um, there's actually quite a few. The only thing I would say, because you said you don't want any hints, Sure, you know, I don't want to cause a rumble. He said that he didn't want to cause a rumble. Remember that. We later found the Easter egg he was talking about here, and to do it, you first have to use the slam attack with the hammer on these grates. And when you do, the grates will give you a series of controller vibrations, or rumbles. The rumble here is Braille. And if you translate the Braille here, you'll get the message, quote, Running from your former life does not erase the sins of your past. This message is, again, referencing Bruno's backstory. The last Voyage Easter egg I'll show you in this video is pretty sad, but also pretty cool. There is a doll under this bench near the dining hall, and if you interact with this doll, it'll say yes or no. No, yes, 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 no. <laughs> yes, yes, no. <laughs> no. This doll can say yes or no up to 20 times, and this is a binary code cipher. So the yes and no stands for zero and one. When you decipher this code, you'll get the numbers four, 14, 12, six, and five. This might seem really random at first, but these five numbers are actually really important to the Titanic. The first three numbers are 4, 14, and 12, or April 14th, 1912. This is the date when the Titanic collided with the iceberg. The 6 and the 5 go together and make 65, which is the total amount of passengers that each lifeboat could hold. But that's not it, because there's more to do with this doll. When you don't look at this doll and turn back around to look at it, the doll will move. This is Treyarch's way of telling us a very chilling backstory of a girl on the Titanic named Lorraine Allison. Lorraine was the only child to die from the first class, and her body was never found. It's widely speculated that this doll is haunted by her, as it is on display in a museum with a missing eye, which this doll also has. That's all the Voyage Easter eggs I'll go into in this video, but by no means is that the end of the Easter eggs and ciphers on this map. So if you want me to cover more really cool ciphers in the future, make sure you drop a like. Dark Matter is impossible to get on the Halion Salvo. This is because of a massive oversight on Treyarch's part. To unlock all the stages of the reactive Dark Matter, you need to get various amounts of headshots, which is impossible to do with a rocket launcher. And finally, when BO3 Origins first released, the mud was much worse than it is now. To the point where, if you didn't have stamina up, the zombies ran faster than you did in the mud, so they could very easily catch up to you and down you. Also, the robot's feet were extremely hard to open as well. This led to many people dumping their entire clip into the robot's foot just to not open it and go down. Thankfully, Treyarch has since fixed both of these, but man was that a real pain when this map first came out. And there is all of your useless COD Zombies information. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Just by you clicking the like button, you can help get this video out to more people and grow our community together. So, if you want to grow this community, click that like button. If you didn't get your fix though and you want more useless COD Zombies information, then click this video on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.